and where to stay when you go away. Best value selections from Fodor's new 100 Hotels Awards. Up next, whether you're headed to Nashville or Philadelphia, Panama or the south of France, we'll show you the best deals on the best places to stay. You're watching CBS This Morning, Saturday. If you're planning a trip out of town or out of the country, here's something helpful from the Travel Guide Fodor's, the new edition of its annual 100 Hotel Awards. And Fodor's Travel Executive Editorial Director, Arabella Bowen, is here with the best value places to stay. Good morning. Good morning. First of all, how did you go about choosing these? Well, this list actually takes us months to do, and uh, part I of it is... I hope you get to give to all of them. All but. of them. Well, I don't get to go to all of them personally, but our writers certainly do. And what's great about photos is that our writers are actually based on the destinations that they cover. Mm -hmm. So we reach out to them every year for all of their top picks, and we debate them hotly, as you might imagine, too. And we're also always looking for new trends emerging in the hospitality space, too. So what makes our list unique is that all of our hotels are actually grouped by category, and we're going to talk about some of them today. So speaking too. of the new trends that you were yes. talking about, one is converting a historic building into a hotel. We have a train station that was converted. That's right. Uh, the Union Station in Nashville is a really exciting property. It's a 113-year-old train station, and they've kept all the original details. You can see that vaulted, uh, the That's vaulted beautiful. lobby. Yeah, exactly. All that ornate gold leaf and the stained glass windows, and all that for just $169 a night. Now, here's something that surprised me. The Waldorf Astoria, but in Panama City. Yeah. And it's actually more affordable than the Waldorf Astoria in New York. Uh, <laughs> by a mile. <laughs> um, yeah, it starts at $149 a night year-round, uh, which is amazing. And you're going to get that five-star service uh, for, that, for a fraction of the price of what you pay here. In New York, you're looking at $450 a night just to start. Uh, we love the hotel pool there, too. And there's a great bar where you can get views of the city. And... Um, the, uh, the Panama Canal is going to be turning 100 next year, mm. and so all of these luxury hotels are opening just in time to really celebrate. Another one on your list is a place that I've actually stayed at, just actually the beginning of this month, uh, Hotel Monaco in Philadelphia. It, I felt like I was sleeping in a Vogue magazine. It's very, <laughs> very stylish rooms, but that's not all. Very stylish yeah. rooms and great value perks as well. Um, we love Kimpton Properties. This place is brand new, and um, you're going to get lots of extra value for your dollar there with the free evening wine hours, free yoga mats. Yeah, I took part. Excellent. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and you've got the free bike rentals as well, and plus the pet-friendly rooms, all that from just $169 a night. And you've got a great location in city center with that rooftop bar that is just fantastic. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't know what to do with that yoga mat. Um, <laughs> another one is, well, one of the other trends that you noted is, is hotels feeling more homey and, or, or just like home. And you picked a hotel in Portugal. That's right. Uh, Lisbon is also a great emerging destination that's terrific value in Europe. And this, this hotel, much like all the other ones that are our home sweet homes, is really neighborhood based. You're going to feel like you're really part of the fabric of the city. It's got a gorgeous restaurant right on the main, town, main, main square there, too, with full... Uh, full of local products, um, you know, great olive oil, Iberian ham, fabulous sausage, and you're going to eat there for a fraction of the price of what you'd pay in Spain. Um, you also have one in uh, Berlin, Germany, that it used to be the, uh, the Royal Danish Embassy. Sounds a little la-di-da. I can't I know. believe that's affordable. I know. Well, Berlin also is one of those great value destinations in Europe. You're going to find great prices almost everywhere you stay. And what we love about this hotel in West Berlin is that they've kept that really grand staircase, too. It looks fabulous. And you're right across from the Berlin Zoo, which makes it also quite convenient if you're mm -hmm. traveling with family. And just $220 a night in spring. Great time to go to Berlin. Great deals, great ideas. Arabella yes. Bowen, thank you so much. And for the complete list of this year's Fodor's Top 100 Hotels, visit cbsnews.com slash cbs this morning.